So it's pre-fill cart with discount attached that land on the cart page. We still have the two other options to land on the checkout page and not allow customers to edit cart or the second version was to land on the checkout page and allow customers to go back to cart and edit cart. But the user experience was not the best, let's say. So we improved it to a version tree which allows to you to create pre-filled cards that land on the cart page and allow customers to edit the cart. So to create a pre-filled cart, I will click on grab cart. But first I need to click open a new tab, uh, add some products to cart, which I already have. I think so. When I get my products in my shopping cart in my other tab, I will click on the button below here or there to grab the cart. So now the app reloads and I, I have my new cart, which has three items. And this is the price of my items that I got here and I can choose a name to remember what is this prefill cart so I'll call it test bundle yeah the name doesn't matter you can choose the one you prefer and then I will attach a discount code which comes from my discounts section mine is 10 off So now I have three links generated. The version one, like I said, will send customers to checkout page and they cannot edit the cart. It's useful for some use case. It's bad for some other use cases. The second version will allow to send to checkout page and then go back to edit cart, but they will arrive, they will land on the checkout page and they will need to click go back or click on the logo or continue shopping bottom left and then they will be able to edit cart. The third and final version that I showed to you today will link to the cart page and allow customer to edit the cart, which is for most of the cases a better option. So I'll grab this, you can click preview, do not click delete, delete this cart. <laughs> um, I will open a new window because I'm cached. So this is what will happen. So there's a small loading UI. If you enabled uh, like the display savings or the pop-up that or automatic discount have, uh, you will see it. Now I, I, I don't because I have other settings, but this is something that I added to my cart. It won't be there by default. By default, what we will see is a pop-up showing that you get a discount you see the products there and then when you click on checkout you see the discount code that is there so that achieved the goal that i add which is to build a pre-filled cart with a discount attached and to allow customers to edit the cart before checkout